Hello Aries and welcome back to my channel and this is anything spiritual and this is your year ahead for 2025. Before the video starts I'm going to quickly show you what other things that are available. The Spirit Within is a book me and my sister co-wrote. It's all to do with sort of mediumship, psychic development. It's for sort of beginners, people who want to really know how this works and what we do. And then my partner paints football themed canvases and um, this is a print from one of his canvases and he also does sort of like little ornaments. He has an Etsy channel, it's Christmas just around the corner so I'll put a link in the description below for that Etsy channel and if you're interested in any football themed pictures, canvases, little ornaments then uh, you can go there. Also in the description below, I'll put a link to my sister's channel, Mind's Eye and Inspiration. She also releases these sort of monthly videos. So let's have a look what 2025 holds for you, Aries. We're going to pull two rows of six cards and your first card out, the Knight of Pentacles. January shows you sort of holding on to your money, being a bit paused in momentum there. Nights are often sort of messages um, and things coming to you, but you can see that he is holding on to that money. So you want to do something properly regarding money and you don't want to rush into things. So just be careful um, about where money's concerned in January, how you're spending it, what you're doing. But I'm sure January after Christmas, most people are sort of watching the pennies anyway, Aries. And you're not necessarily assigned to be too worried about your finances. That was the next card out. Your second card, February, the Wheel of Fortune. And with the Wheel of Fortune, I do see that as quite a positive card because it's sort of saying when things are down, things come back round again. So I feel that February for you, things are picking up. Remember, these are general readings and they'll resonate with people in different areas. So whatever area of your life has been feeling a little bit down, February shows that Wheel of Fortune coming in and things picking back up again for you. March shows calm emotions. Um, feeling happy, feeling more in control of your emotions. So you're feeling happier. Obviously, after February, when we've had that wheel of cards and things seem to be picking up for you, you're obviously in a good place. You're sort of on a roll, um, sort of February and March. Nice things picking up for you. And March, you're feeling in quite a good place. You're feeling sort of calm with your emotions, in control of things, quite happy facing that year coming up. I know it's still quite early on in the year, but it's nice to start that year off quite well. And look at that April celebrations, family get togethers, could be birthdays, could be christening, could be anniversaries, whatever it is. But we do have some celebrations for you there. And actually, that could even be around your birthday. I'm trying to think of the um, star sign, but Aries, you are sort of March not sure it's going into April, but obviously there are celebrations going on around that time. Cards jumping out here. And May is the Ace of Swords. New beginnings. Could also be, because it's swords, um, people often have the Ace of Swords down as sort of cutting ties. I think because swords are to do with thought. It's like new way of thinking over something. OK, it's controlling a stress or a worry. And we know you've been feeling good because we know February things turned for you. We know March you were feeling in a good place. April you've been celebrating, enjoying yourself, getting together with friends. So May sees you determined to stay in that good frame of mind, to keep negative thoughts away. You are conscious about your um, thoughts as you go into May there. Two cards come out and I want to use those for June. We had the Page of Cups, again, messages and the Three of Cups celebrations. April, May, June. There seems to be lots going on. We have celebrations and getting together here and we have it again here in June. Good messages Good news, things to do with family, friends, loved ones. 
So we had you getting together in April. May we see you wanting to stay in this positive frame of mind, being determined to stay positive. And June again, we've got, you know, the news. Could it be someone getting married, someone getting engaged? There seems to be positive news to do with someone you love and you're going to want to celebrate this news. So Aries, lovely reading for you, 2025. Looks like there's lots of celebrating, lots of things to be happy about, lots of reasons in the first part of the year to be getting together, enjoying yourself, celebrating, positive messages, good news about friends, loved ones. And July, we have the Ace of Wands. Again, new beginnings to do with work, to do with something that you're creating. So if this is self-employment or a hobby, you are, well, you're in such a good frame of mind. You have that energy to get things going. So July sees you branching out. You know, getting something off the road that's perhaps you've been thinking about or planning. Perhaps you've been doing this for a little while, but not really got it out there. But July sees you setting up something new, getting going again, putting a new, could be new training at work and an extra thing to your job. You know, it may not necessarily be a new job. For some of you, it could be. But for others, it could be a new string to your bow, as they say. So Aries, what an exciting year for you so far. New things coming in, new possibilities, celebration. August sees you, the Five of Pentacles. This card is saying to you, if you're feeling a little bit left out, perhaps you've been so busy, July, getting whatever this is off the ground, you feel in August like you've missed out on your friends and your family and You've not seen them much. And this is reminding you that you're still very much part of, you know, what's going on with other people. You're still very much included. You know, this person sitting outside feeling a little bit left out. So perhaps a little warning there in July when you're getting this new thing off the road. Yes, it's important that you spend time getting something new off the road. But you may start to miss family and friends in August. You may feel like you've missed out a bit. You may just feel a little bit sort of left out because things have changed. Fives indicate changes and there's been changes because of these all these new things. The changes could also be if somebody has got married, you know, in the family. It's changed, you know. Things have changed for you. And you're recognising the changes in August. You're looking around thinking, yeah, things are different now. Look at September, the world card. No, this is a really positive reading, even though you're kind of noticing the changes there in August. It's still a lovely reading. You know, and life changes, I'm afraid, Aries. You know, people grow up, people change, life changes, people move on. In September, you've got the world at your feet. Whatever you want to do could be to do with this new thing that you took on in July but it's really positive so if an opportunity comes along for you in July Aries it certainly seems positive because it's bringing you the world it's bringing you opportunities look at that the seven of cups so much opportunity so little time he's sitting there on this bench and there's all these things that he can go for it's like Everything is open to you next year. What an amazing reading, Aries. You know, you start off really happy. You're celebrating with family. But not only that, not only do you have, you know, good positive things to enjoy around the family and friends, but you have opportunities for yourself. It's coming in all directions for you. Really positive year. And it's a bad time, isn't it, Aries? It's about time we had all this positivity. I mean, obviously, things may go wrong at some point throughout the year. We're not saying it's going to go absolutely swimmingly. But the main focus of the year next year is positive. November, we've got the page of ones. 
Again, good news, good messages to do with work. Could be this thing you started off in July, but things are going well and you're feeling positive and there's good messages about it. Could also be to do with children, but positive messages for you in November. And it's certainly to do with work again, you know, that creativity, getting people going. It's, it's just positive. All the messages for you seem really, really positive. December, the Six of Pentacles. Six is again, money changing hands, doing dealing work. Could be to do with new things, new opportunities. These opportunities that started in October here. Bringing good messages, bringing in money. Look at that money changing hands there. So it certainly looks, the first half of the year looks more to do with family and emotions and friends. The second half of the year, Aries, seems more to do with you and opportunities. But it all seems really positive. And even right up to December, you're still negotiating, sorting stuff out, money changing hands, dealing with things here. So it's lovely, but this money is all to do with these opportunities that's come in here for you. Yes, you've got to work for it. You've got to get these things going, but look what it's bringing you. It's bringing you the world. It's bringing you the seven of cups. It's bringing you so much opportunity. Aries, what a lovely year. What positive messages for you. Don't forget in the description below the link to my partner's Etsy channel, the football themed, you know, Christmas presents, the book if you're interested and my sister's channel, Mind's Eye and Inspiration. Thank you for watching.